This is John Lamazdi, and tonight on beercritic.wordpress.com, we're going to be reviewing Port Brewing's Wipeout IPA, and this is a uh, India Pale Ale, traditionally hoppy, has a 7% ABV, which to me means that it's about 200 calories um, for a 12 ounce, uh, since this is 22 ounce, that means it's almost 400 calories. I will go ahead and look up in Bob Skilnick's book uh, what the actual calories are, but that's my estimate. Uh, I really love the one brew that I've had from Port Brewing, and that was their, um, what was it? It was another IPA, but it was incredibly spicy. I mean, it really tasted like it had peppers or something in it. And uh, the fact that they are paying attention to West Coast IPA style, we can see that they're using five hot varieties, Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, Simcoe, and Summit. Really looking forward to seeing what this tastes like. So let's go ahead and do that. Because this is an IPA, we are going to pour into a tulip. Let's go ahead and listen to the crack. Very nice release. Brilliantly clear body so far, although there is a lot of sediment on the bottom, I'm sure by the end it'll pretty be uh, pretty cloudy. A tall, slightly off-white head. Let me uh, come back a little bit and get a nice shot of that. Beautiful. See if we can get some color there. That's very nice. I'll focus in. In the aroma, uh, even in the room from here, I can smell the citrus aroma starting to uh, come out. Very, very nice. So that head is staying on. It is uh, definitely thick, tight bubbles. Looks really, really nice. Give myself some uh, extra light. Surprisingly highly carbonated. Citrus aroma. Uh, pine, definitely, a, it's a pine forest. Pineapple, orange rind, lemon zest. <laughs> Looks beautiful, just what you'd expect from a nice IPA, deep amber color. Um, I thought that was off-white, but now it's looking pretty bright white. It's sticking to the side, nice lacing. That head's not going anywhere. Let's give it a taste. Oh. Wow. Very bitter. Very, very, very bitter. Uh, there's some sweetness that balances it surprisingly. But that bitterness is, is really... Um, nicely overwhelming. It is uh, it's almost like uh, sort of shooting the zest of a lemon into your mouth. It's got that really tight citrus dryness. It's um, it's a surprisingly hoppy IPA. I would expect this almost from a double IPA or 
uh, something else, but this is beautiful for a classic IPA. Wow, wonderful. The, the hops are so varied and layered. Uh, you can tell that there are five varieties of hops in here. Amarillo, Cascade, Centennial, Simcoe, and uh, Summit. I recognize the Amarillo and the Cascade uh, and the Simcoe. The Simcoe is really kind of special. I've had the Simcoe before in a Weyerbacher. Um, it, the sweetness starts to build over time, but the finish just is not going away. It's so present on the palate. Very drying. Very, very nice. Highly recommended to Hopheads. Thanks very much. Uh, you can see this and other uh, critiques at beercritic.wordpress.com. Thanks a lot.